Well, hi there. This is Bob Kramer. Welcome back to Kramer's Garage. Well, I have a special treat in store for you today. I am working on heads for a um, 1983 Honda Goldwing. So, here's my heads. Right here. First of all, if you're going to work on heads, you need a head holder. So I took a, an old spark plug and welded it into a square steel bar. The square bar clamps nicely in a vise. I have a large vise there to hold this. And uh, so that's what I'm going to use to hold the head while I do the work. Now this is uh, one that I've started to work on. Let me shine some more light on it. Let's see if I can get more light in there. So this uh, valley here, the, 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 the intake runners go into the head this way and this way on that side. So the air wants to hug that outside wall, in my opinion. So I carved out this valley right here, made it wider, primarily by removing metal on the side over here. Let me get a pointer or something. This side over here, I removed uh, quite a bit of metal right there. Um, I also took out a little bit over here, and I took out a little bit of metal up in this area here um, to make that more round than oval. Okay, you can look at one that I have not worked on yet. I haven't started on this one yet. I think you can clearly see the difference. I'm going to get more light. Okay, so when you look at this one that I've not worked on yet, I think you can clearly see the difference, especially in this area right here between that one and this one, you can see that I've opened that up quite a bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out a little bit more in here, thin down that area that holds the valve guide. I'm going to thin that area down and, um, and maybe open this up a little bit more. And I'm going to check the diameter of my intake runner and make sure that the intake runner has a greater uh, or a smaller diameter than the port itself. Um, so, to get started, you need to take your head holder and screw it in. So anyway, I'm going to get this one all done the way I want it, and then I'll uh, try to make the other one match as close as possible. And I don't have a flow bench, and I've tried to find somebody with a flow bench that I could use. And I can't seem to find anybody. But um, so I'm just going to put it in the engine and try it. So I've also done some polishing in the exhaust ports. Um, you do not want to polish your intake ports. You want to leave them a little bit on the rough side. I'm going to take them down to about a... I'm, I'm using mostly an 80 grit abrasive. I'll show you that here in a minute. But uh, anyway, the exhaust ports can be polished. The intake ports should be a little rough. Of course, I'm going to be sanding aluminum and I don't want to breathe the dust. So I'm wearing a mask to uh, block the dust and, uh, of course, safety glasses. Always wear safety glasses when using power tools. So uh, there's my head set up in the vise, and I have a, an overhead light shining down on it, and I also have a magnetic work light that uh, is shining in there. All right, the main tool I'm going to use for this right now is uh, this, uh, an air die grinder, air operated die grinder, and I've got a one quarter inch diameter um, um, sanding drum from Dremel. And as you can see, 
this will fit down in there pretty nicely. Um, on the other side where there was a bigger space I used a half inch drum. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I'm not sure how I'm going to hold the camera and do this. I'm not going to do too much of this on the camera. Okay, I think this head is done. I'm not going to do any more with it. As you can see, I polished the uh, exhaust ports. And I'll show you the tools I used for this. The intake ports, I took a lot of metal out, but I didn't do any polishing. I left them rough. That's a, about a, a 180 grit finish in those uh, intake ports. But if you compare this to a stock head, you can see where I took out a lot of metal. Um, particularly in this valley right here. Right there, I don't know if you can see that, how good you can see that. But that valley right there, I, I carved that out quite a bit on both sides. Alright, and uh, two gentlemen that have done quite a bit of cylinder head porting uh, looked at this, what I'm doing, and told me they think I'm on the right track. Uh, but anyway, the tools I used for this are these uh, sanding drums. I have them in various sizes, uh, quarter inch, uh, three-eighths inch, and half inch. I used all those sizes uh, to get into the various nooks and crannies in there. Um, and then I also used strips of emery cloth. I have emery cloth in four different grits. I went up to 600 grit on the exhaust side. I only went to 180 on the intake side, if you will. So now the next thing I'm going to do, you can see that the, um, the uh, valve seats are pitted a little bit. So the next thing to do is going to be to cut new valve seats on these. And I bought new valves. This is my complete set of new valves. Uh, I haven't used done anything with these yet other than take them out of the package and put them in the block. So uh, that's where I'm at. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, try to make the other head, which is sitting here on the bench, try to make that look like this. I'm going to go on my 83 Goldwing, which is sitting over here. So this bike runs really good. I rebuilt this engine uh, uh, two or three years ago, and it's been running good. It leaks a little bit of oil, so I'm going to take the engine out of the frame and um, examine it and figure out if I can fix the oil leak. It's very small, but I want to I want to fix the oil leak and I want to uh, then put the new heads on that I'm working on, the reworked heads put those heads on and see if it runs better than it does now. Um, that's the goal. Hopefully I, I, I'd like to gain a little bit of mid-range torque, but uh, anyway, that's, that's what I'm doing. And this is a big experiment for me, so uh, stay tuned. Okay, so I did most of this uh, porting work on these heads with sanding drums. I used a uh, quarter inch, three eighth inch, and half inch sanding drums. And as you can see, I used a bunch of them. This is about half of the ones I used. Um, so these are all gonna get thrown away. But anyway, so that's what I did most of it with. And then I used a, a flap wheel on the, uh, to, to smooth it out a little bit more. And then I'm, I'm uh, waiting for a bunch of uh, Dremel buffs to come, and I'll use those to polish the exhaust ports. Stay tuned. So I'm done working on this head. Um, I hope you can see in there pretty good. 
this is the intake port and I did not polish this it looks pretty shiny but it's not polished it's uh, about an 80 grit finish on there uh, so it's pretty shiny but you can see the the sand marks in it it's uh, it's a gritty finish on the uh, exhaust side I polished that using uh, Dremel buffs up to a uh, 600 grit. So those are my exhaust ports. And I also uh, cleaned up the combustion chamber in the head pretty good. Now this is not an instructional video about how to port your heads. This is an experimental video, and I'm basically just bringing you guys along on my experiment, because uh, this is my first time doing any extensive porting work. I opened up the intakes quite a bit. I took quite a bit of metal out, um, especially in this valley right here. I opened that valley up quite a bit to... Uh, hopefully improve airflow. On the exhaust side, I didn't take out very much metal. I just cleaned them up good, removed all the casting marks, and um, and then polished them up to a 600 grit. I'm going to turn this head. I'm going to turn the head so you can uh, see in the exhaust ports better. So, look in those exhaust ports. Those are pretty shiny. You don't see the deep sand marks like I have in the intake ports. They're not like a mirror finish, but they're a really nice satin finish, I'd say. And I suppose I could go a little bit more and polish them more, but I'm going to leave them like that. They're way smoother and shinier than they were before. There was quite a bit of casting marks over along this edge here and uh, I, I cut that all out, ground that all out to uh, make it all smooth and then shined it so anyway uh, the next step I'm going to do the other head I, I this is the first one so I'm going to do the other head to match and then the next step on this process will be to uh, recut the valve seats and I'll be going to my friend uh, Frank's house to do that he has the the seat cutters so uh, anyway stay tuned okay uh, both cylinder heads are ported and polished now these cylinders go to a Honda GL 1100 I'm gonna put them on my 1983 um, gold wing. So anyway, um, leave me some comments in the comments section if you think I'm on the right track here. Like I said before, this is my first actual attempt at porting a cylinder head, and so I've, uh, I've taken quite a bit of metal out of the intake side, and I've done a lot of polishing on the exhaust side. Um, so leave me comments. Let me know what you think. Do you think I, I'm gonna? It's gonna run better, or, or did I ruin the head, or what? Because, um, uh, like I said, it's experimental for me, so I really don't know. Um, leave a comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and uh, stay tuned for the completion of this project. I'll be uh, cutting the valve seats and then reassembling this onto the engine and and we'll see how it runs thanks for watching